welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're good and welcome to a very special announcement. Uh, before we get into that, apologies for any noise from the outside or the fan and for how many times you're going to see me in this outfit because it is ridiculously hot and the only way to cope is wearing the smallest amount of clothes possible while still being decent because this is... I was going to say family friendly channel, but I'm not really sure that that's true. We don't want to get done for nudity, put it that way. <laughs> and to have the windows open and the fans on and just try and survive. So, moving on. So today I am here to tell you about a brand new readathon that has been run by myself and the lovely Amy from Booktube with Amy. And this is Wayward Sunathon, and this is happening from the 12th to the 18th of September. So it's a week long readathon and it kind of coincides with when season one of the show first kind of came out. I can't remember exactly, but I remember when we were planning it, I was like, it happens in that week. Let's go for it. Uh, this is a companion, uh, official companion is awesome but they stopped doing them after so many seasons and i only have the first five so sad so yes it's it's supernatural inspired i don't think i said that but it is <laughs> i'm doing really well here i'm really good at these sorts of videos so we have a lovely bingo board and how you want to do this is entirely up to you these are the prompts i'll go through them in a second uh, but you can go for one line either horizontal vertical diagonal you can go for a total blackout of the board you can double up triple up however you want to do it um anything counts manga graphic novels novels novellas uh, non-fiction anything that you want to that it can you can kind of fit into a prompt if you think it fits the prompt it fits the prompt go for it we are not going to police you this is all just a bit of fun so i've told you when it is i've told you the name of it uh we have a twitter which will be linked down below you can go and follow us on there and then you can share your tbrs and all that kind of business let's get into those prompts so as you can tell from the bingo board, all of the prompts are kind of inspired by characters in the show. And our first one is Sammy, a book that's inspired by mythology or has an academic setting. So this can be Dark Academia. It can be any kind of YA novel that takes place in a school. It can be any type of school, college, uh, high school, primary school, you know, anything. If it has an academic uh, setting or it has any kind of mythology, uh, go for it. Our next prompt is Dean, a book with a character that goes through hell. Now this can be literal hell, so if there is like demons involved and it goes through hell, uh, I don't know, or if it just kind of, it, it might be hard to kind of know off the bat, but if you feel like something in the back is like, well this is going to be hell for this character, go for it. It can be literal hell, emotional hell, I don't know, maybe they get captured, however you want to make it work. Next up, my favourite character, Kaz, Editing Gemma here. No, your your ears are working fine. I I did just call him my favourite character and then call him Kaz. Just having a crisis right now. It's Cass, obviously. It was very hot in my defence. Um, brought to you by another hot day and me being a mess. So it's Cass. As you were. A book with a character not of this earth. This can be aliens, it can be fey, elves, dwarfs, gnomes, any kind of magical creature or sci fi creature totally counts. Our second row starts with Charlie, a book with LGBTQIA plus rep. Uh, and again, any kind of genre, if it has any kind of rep, it doesn't have to be the main character, although obviously that would be better. But any book that has any kind of LGBTQIA plus rep would definitely fit. Our central square. Ghost, ghost faces. It's the ghost faces. Absolute legends. Love them. A book with a group of friends. A nice easy one. Then we have Bobby, a book with found family or a father figure. So this can be any kind of found family. It can be a really good father figure. It could be like a father figure who's not great. I mean, as long as there's a father figure in it. Our last row starts with Rowena, a book with witches. Self-explanatory, we're good to go. Then we have Crowley, a book where the character is morally ambiguous, morally grey characters. I can think of so many books that would fill this prompt and who doesn't love a morally grey character? We stand Crowley here. 
And lastly, Eileen, a book with disability rep. So this can be any type of disability rep, uh, physical or hidden disability, anything that you can kind of make fit. Eileen is a deaf character, so obviously that would be great, but kind of literally any kind of disability, if it's represented in the book, you are good to go. How many times have I said that? So many. I'm really not good at these videos. Forgive me. And that's it. I think that's it. I think I've told you everything you need to know. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if you are going to be joining us. Remember to follow the Twitter. If you just want me to know you here, that purple heart is always appreciated. I am going to try and do a video kind of with recommendations for all the prompts. So if you have recommendations or books that you think might fit for the prompts, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and include them. And that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more bookish content from me, remember to hit that button. Leave a like if you want to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!